Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And good morning, guys. It is Vlogmas Day 7. And I'm right now being quiet because my parents are still sleeping. It is 8 in the morning. I'm getting ready to go to school. So, yeah, I'm really tired. Like, you can tell by my face that I'm, like, genuinely tired. And my eyelashes are all coming off. So, that is great. Um, oh my god, yeah, they are coming off. I need to put more on whenever I have time. But yeah, I need to, like, make this quick so I can get ready and go. Um, finish getting ready and go. Uh, but yeah, um, welcome to the vlog. Welcome back, guys. And, um, yeah. So, I'll film today just before I go to school. I have these jeans. These are honestly my favorite jeans. Like, I wear them every day. Then I have my fillers that I wear every day. And I have this nice cute top. Uh, and my jacket so yeah so I just got home from school and I'm now going to make some toast and some nice cup of tea honestly when I get home now all I have is toast and cup of tea now because it's so cold and I like to have my body really warm and yeah so yeah um yeah and then I have to go to tutor and then I'm back home and blah 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 so yeah uh, and then I also want to talk to you guys, so yeah. Hey guys, so I am back home. I got my food, I got my, um, stuff, and I'm nice and warm here. Um, I know it's not healthy, and it's probably going to make me sick, but I don't care. Um, also, I just want to start by saying how was my day. And while I'm eating, let's do a mukbang, actually, of my day. Yeah. So, while I am eating... I will talk about my day because it wasn't the best and you know I like sharing stuff on my vlog you know in case one day I'll look back and see but um I kind of wanted to like talk to you guys I'm not really in a good mood to be honest I didn't have the best day ever because I kind of had like an emotional breakdown um in school because <laughs> of a grade um that I got now I know, like, I'm in a situation where I'm new in the, in a different country, uh, in case you didn't know, I'm in Portugal, so, um, I'm new in a different country, everything's new, they have subjects that I've never took before ever in England, and, um, even the subjects that I've took before, what they're doing, I like difficult stuff that only Portugal do, because when they're in Portugal, I've noticed that they only want to learn about their country. Like, for example, for history, they learn about other countries, but it's mostly in Portugal and the story in Portugal about what happens in other countries to do with Portugal or something. I don't know how to explain this, but yeah. Um, I think you get it. And... Mm, and, like... I've been getting really 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 bad grades not even a pass i've gotten a zero in one test because my writing and reading is not good and i'm not used to it and writing in portuguese is like really hard the grammar and everything like we th you might think that english grammar is hard or something but no portuguese grammar is the worst and like is i don't even know how to explain i just know that i broke down in tears like just all of a sudden I, I had tears in my eyes I couldn't even see what was going on and I broke down and I was in such I was just such I don't I don't even know I'm speechless because like I've been putting myself down and I always do this I've been doing this since I even went to high school your grades is not who you are it doesn't define you I know that and I probably won't listen to me because I use it as a, a way to like put myself down and every time I have a bad grade I put myself down a lot and I'm like oh my god you're like the worst you're stupid everyone here is so smart and you're like the stupid one that's what I say to myself and I put myself down a lot and I know I shouldn't be doing that and I don't I don't know how to help it but it's just like how I kind of deal with having a bad grade some people will, I mean, I feel like everyone when they have a bad grade and they break down or have like a mental breakdown, that's the thing that go through their mind. But today, what went through my mind was, 
what, what is my mom gonna say? I'm the worst, I'm this, I'm that, I should have got better. Everyone's getting 11s and 12s and I'm here getting a four and instead of trying to think of the positive side, you know? And it was just, and I've been having like emotional breakdowns like every week now. It got to the point that it's literally every week. The other day it was like over a math test that didn't go so well when the first one went well and um, yeah. To be honest, I don't know what to say. Apart from like, I am trying my best. I'm studying all the time. You can tell by vlogs. I'm always studying and I'm always saying that I'm studying. And I'm not like laid back and not doing anything, you know? But when I get those grades, it feels like that. and. I don't know how I feel. Oh, this is really good. Like, so good. Really good. But yeah, that's what I wanted to say because um, I don't want to like break it down to it in tears again and explain stuff. I hate doing that, although it's okay to cry. But yeah, I was also thinking in my head, like, oh my god, I'm crying, and everyone's here, uh, looking at me, but, like, everyone's kind of supportive, and no one really laughed or anything, but, um, because everyone gets my situation, um, but yeah, it's really, really hard being, being here, I guess, and I'm, I'm still really upset about it, but I don't want it to get over my head and stuff, so. And yeah, I um, kind of wanted to talk to you and explain and talk why I won't be really that happy in today and today's vlog. So yeah, see you guys later. So I'm back home now and I'm actually uh, watching Riverdale, a new episode that I didn't get to watch. So yeah, um, pretty much, pretty much what I'm doing. So yeah. Hey. So I am currently here waiting for my grandma and I'm gonna sort out my hair and stuff but um, I am now just like waiting for my grandma to come and pick me up because she's about to be coming to pick me up so yeah. Okay so my grandma's not gonna come now, she can co she's gonna come later but I went on Netflix and I found out that, that there is a 2018 uh, Little Mermaid movie kind of similar I think I don't know uh, it's meant to be the same story and I'm watching it right now so it seems like it's the same and I'm shook so let's watch it despite stories she had heard of the dangers above she had to save him so this is a story and that's what I'm watching and like she wondered what this feeling it doesn't look the same but then it's gonna be like live action so this is just like the first bit and um yeah that's just explaining that first bit that you know like is on the original disney movie but why is it like this why is it not like the original movie blah 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 kind of thing and then like wait the little mermaid was so sad. Oh, so this is kind of different. Another girl comes in. Oh, I get it. She then goes and tries to be like, you know. Oh, you know the story if you if you watch Little Mermaid. But um, yeah. Where they lived Oh my God, I can't turn it. So here it is. This is like the live action part. Just wanted to show you in case you never watched it. But I'm kind of surprised by it because like. I didn't know this movie exists. I don't know how, but I just didn't know. It. So it is really late, and I am watching Pokemon in the middle of the night. I don't know why, but I'm just watching Pokemon, and I'm watching like the first episodes and all. And I'm really tired, so I'm gonna go to sleep. I did say that I was gonna go to my grandma's house, but turns out uh, I was meant to go yesterday. Yesterday, I mean tomorrow. Uh, yeah, tomorrow, really early in the morning, and I can't be bothered, but I have to go, so, yeah.
thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the vlog and yeah and i will see you guys tomorrow so yeah thank you and bye